Welcome back to another episode of the Dub 2 Alphas Talk. Uh, this time I want to talk to you guys about um, go bags and survival kits. Um, there's a huge difference in between the two. If you have a go bag, a go bag is going to consist of a bag that's designed for you to go from point A to point B. And it's going to have the essentials that you need to go from point A to point B. Uh, from some folks, it may be a little different loadout than a lot of other different people because you may have a family with you or you may have, uh, you know, some special needs or special conditions that you need. You know, you may need some good walking shoes um, that need to be in the bag. Uh, most, on every uh, go bag, you should at least have some type of uh, medical kit. You should have some type of weapon or firepower. Uh, you should have some type of ammunition or a knife. Um, then at least a 72-hour uh, food supply and some water. Um, so because you can get water anywhere, remember that. The, if the electrical grid doesn't, doesn't go down, you can get water from the spigot anywhere if you're in an urban environment. Now, the ammunition loadout, it shouldn't exceed more than 300 rounds because the weight factor. And so if you're going to have body armor, I don't say have a full dressed out kit, um, like a armor uh, plated kit, uh, have something concealed because if you're trying to go from point A to point B, you don't want a lot of people to know that you're carrying and have supplies on you and that you're moving from point A to point B. You're trying to do it incognito as possible. Now a survival kit is something that you're going to use to survive off of. So it's going to have fire starting kits. It's going to have a food supplies, water supplies, it's going to have a change of clothing. It's going to have all your comfort needs in there. And everything that you need to survive off the land or the area that you hunker down in or the area that you're going to from point A to point B and stop in. So those, those kits usually can be for a serious bug out kit. For like if your family is going to have a kit and you have a kit that's at home and you have everything in it, your medicines, your medical, all your will, all everything, money, anything that you're going to need for when you get there that you can survive off of for a long time. And that's usually going to be in a main big like, gigantic bug out kit. And so you can grab that, keep that kit always loaded, grab that kit when time need and take off. Um, if you're going to keep a, go, uh, a um, go bag in your car, just make sure that go bag is designed for you to just get from where you're at to make it home or to get to your rally point to meet your family. And from one, once you're there, hopefully your plan is to try to make it home after that. And once you get to your home, your home is the most secure spot. So it's going to have everything into your creature comfort needs and also protection for you and your family. Now, I've seen on the internet a lot of guys are doing this magazine challenge. This mag uh, I've been seeing it on Instagram. The guys have 20 rounds, uh, 20 uh, magazines uh, for his AR and another 10 for his pistol. The guys had three different pistols on him and plus a plate carrier. That's a little extreme. If you guys are going to have plate carriers and all that type of gear on, make sure you are physically fit to wear it and that you can walk a mile with that stuff on. If you just putting that stuff on for the camera so it looks good and you come out to the range, you're going to have a rude awakening if you start wearing that stuff for 24 hours a day because it's going to start tearing on your body because you're not going to be physically fit for it. Carrying ammunition more than 240 rounds for a rifle, that's, that's about as max you need somewhere in there you need to be carrying because it's going to get a little bit heavy. And that weight load is going to start taking toll on your body. And also, too, the more fatigue you get, the more water you have to drink. So you're not going to be carrying a lot of water. And uh, it's going to show that your body is not in shape, especially in the heat and the extreme uh, weather conditions or terrain conditions. You're just going to make a fool out of yourself. You're going to end up dropping a lot of that gear and throwing it off. Take all that gear off, put it in a backpack, put it in uh, and cache that stuff, then use that as a resupply point. Do not try to carry it on you. This is not a game when you guys are doing stuff like that. You know, I mean, you're, you're, you're thinking you're in Call of Duty and it's not Call of Duty. 
You can't just carry a lot of that stuff and think it's not going to have an ill effect on your body. It will. If you're going to stay in one spot, still have a cachet spot. Don't carry all this gear. It's, you're just setting yourself up for failure and that's all you're doing. Um, with that, uh, I, you know, try to look for stuff after this pandemic and say, okay, now I need to get my stuff together and what bags should I get? What items should I put in the bag? Can I afford to have multiple weapons and just sitting in the bag and not being utilized? Can I afford just to have that ammunition sitting in that bag not being utilized? If you can't, it's going to take you a year to get it going. Take that time next year and start preparing and getting all this stuff together. Also, too, if you keep a go bag in your trunk or in your car, make sure it's concealed so nobody can look in there and steal it. Don't be showing it to anybody. Don't be taking pictures of it and posting it online, showing everybody what your bag looks like. Because if these were out there, they know you, they're going to break in that vehicle and they're going to try to take it. That's something private. Keep it private. All right. With that, I just want to say uh, we're on uh, YouTube. I'm on Instagram. We're on uh, Facebook. So throw those likes out there. Comment. Ask any types of questions that you guys want to ask or any subject you want us to talk about. And give the support out for Al G and let him know that he needs to be out here with me. All right. Thank you. See you on the range.